All right, next up in the ECG course, still in level one, the last of the three lessons, quick lessons, in this very quick unit on rate. And we're going to talk about determining the rate in an irregular rhythm. Now, with a regular rhythm, you had two options. You could count the beats in a six-second strip, multiply by ten, pretty easy. You could also, if you have a 12 lead, uh, since that's a 10-second strip, you could count the beats and multiply by six either way. You're counting beats in, a, um, in an amount of time and doing a simple multiplication, and that worked great for regular, and it's your only option for irregular. The cool little 300, 150, 100 sequence we talked about in regular will not work in the irregular rhythm. Um, kind of logically, you just wouldn't know where you're going there. So, so again, the six-second strip method, reminding you there's five big boxes in one second, which would give you 30 big boxes for six seconds. Nobody wants to count 30 boxes. So you look at the marks at the top of the paper. Those are three seconds apart, not six. Three seconds apart, you need two of those. You put those together, count the QRSs, multiply by 10. Now you've got your rate. Very, very simple method. So that's pretty much it for rate determination for now.